Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! This is one of my favorite games of all time. I think you're going to enjoy it, so let's get started here! Wait, what? We don't have airships at the start of this game. This is the wrong Final Fantasy II! Cut! Cut! Ah, that's more like it. Was Final Fantasy I too easy for you? Would you like to have an actual plot with character development and villain presence? Do you hate grinding experience levels? Then come and let's play Final Fantasy II! This is the real Final Fantasy II, originally released only on the Famicom in Japan, which we never got until the PlayStation version in North America. Uh, the other Final Fantasy II was actually Final Fantasy IV in Japan, but they changed it to Final Fantasy II in North America since they skipped bringing over the real Final Fantasy II and III and didn't want to confuse us as to why they skipped them. Great job, guys. Now, for this LP, I'm using the Chaos Rush translation of the game instead of the Neo Demi Force one I used before. This one is much cleaner than before, and I'll post a link to the translation patch in the video description there. Let's see, we got an evil empire trying to take over the world, and we have to stop them. Or, well, at least run away from them, for now. Because as we all know, in JRPGs, empires are evil, kingdoms are good. Absolutely. Well, except for, like, the Zeal Kingdom, but... Other than that. Okay, so, let's get started here. I'm going to use a uh, battle message speed of 7 there. I think that's a reasonable speed, but if you think that's still a little too fast, uh, let me know. I can change it later. But I'm going to give everyone their canon names, or at least as much as I can here. Like, a, I think his full name's supposed to be Freonial there, but... Uh, well, we don't have the space for that. Same thing for Leon Hart here. Maria doesn't have that problem, though, so we can get her full name in there. And when you get to the end of someone's name, just go to the bottom and enter in spaces to just move on to the next guy. Guy! Although in the PlayStation translation, they translated his name as Gus for some reason. Now, unlike Final Fantasy 1, you might notice that we have a front and back row system here, which works differently than any other Final Fantasy game. In this game, enemies can only use physical attacks on characters in the front row here. So that's the three guys we got there. They can't target back row characters at all without some sort of spell or ability there. That's why... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, conversely, you can't use melee attacks from the back row either, which is why Maria has a bow. And as far as our commands go, we got your basic physical attack there, then flee to run away, magic to use your spells, though no one has any yet, and items to use either an item in one of your two hands, or you can equip up to two items that you can use in battle. You don't have access to your full inventory like every future Final Fantasy game there. So what I would recommend is having everyone attack the same enemy to gang up on them, to take them down that way before they annihilate us! Jesus Christ! Now, as you can see here, the enemies or allies for that matter, uh, no one has auto-targeting. So when the enemies attack a character who's already dead, they don't automatically attack someone else instead. However, once all of your front row characters are dead, your back row characters will get moved up to the front row since, well, there isn't one anymore. And then they can finish you off. And they died. Well, that's a hell of a way to start. That didn't go as planned. Oh, or we're not dead? Okay. Minwoo, huh? Well, gee, you think? Hey, hey, all right. 
I don't think we can actually use the sigil that we're sitting on, though. But I guess it's helping us here now. Whoa. What's a dreadnought? Holy cow, that doesn't sound good at all. So, what are you going to do about it? Or, we could just uh, get up here, instead of tending to our wounds. No one's going to stick around? No? Okay. Ah, hey, hey, all right. Yeah, where'd he go? Oh. That's... Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. Ah, I like the rebellion theme they got here. Yeah, we're the youngest characters around here, so therefore, we should be the ones leading the army. Just like all good JRPGs. Oh, or not. Uh, yeah, they kind of murdered everyone, lady. Oh. Okay, uh, what's the password? Walt sent me? No. No, uh, Wild Rose. So, one of the critical mechanics of the game is a password system here, where we learn various keywords by using the learn command, and then using the ask command, you can give them to various characters throughout the game to either activate a sequence trigger or get more information and well he kind of died but uh okay well aren't you gonna help us no apparently not okay but all right, let's see what we got here. Minwu, let's try giving him the password. Hey, hey, all right. But uh, yeah, that's just a little tutorial for how to use that system there. We got a white looking red mage. Or at least it looks like a red mage from the first game. But uh, hmm, Paloom. Is there another town, Param? Or Poram or something? Pull them? I don't know. But, uh, nuts. If only we had a canoe, but we don't. Oh! Well, yeah, I, I kind of noticed there. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we should check it out there. See if we can get a canoe or something. But, uh, oh, well, yeah, I, I kind of noticed, guys. Thanks. But all right, let's take a look around. Uh, there's nothing in that room over there ever in this version. I thought in some of the remakes they have some people over there, like tutorial guys or something. But uh, this is the Famicom version. There are no tutorials in this version of the game. Wow. That's... I'm amazed any of you guys made it out okay. Holy cow. But all right. Oh, gotta talk to him up here. Can't talk to his penis. Doesn't work that way. But, uh, oh, you're, uh, not gonna tell us anything else then, huh? Okay. Did it hit you in the knee? Well, it might have. But, uh, okay. Let's see, down here, there's another room, but it's, well, let's show it off. Why not? It's empty. But, might as well take a look at it there. I don't think we can interact with anything around here, like the bookshelves or anything. No, no. They don't have any hidden items like that. So, I mean, almost everything in the game comes from, like, a treasure chest or something like that. Like, the first game. But, alright. Well, oh, thanks for letting me hang out here, at least while we're recovering and all that. But, uh, okay. Oh, 
Good, good. Someone's gotta take over there. Better than being turned into a dog. That's another game of yours. But, uh, hmm. Oh. Well, I wonder what happened to the guy. Hmm. Well, maybe we, should, we can give him a little pep talk there. But here, we got a potion that restores just a little bit of your HP. I might hold on to that for a little bit. Uh, well, we'll see how money goes and, and all that. I might want to sell them, too. So, let's explore the town of Altair. Well, please don't rip out my lungs for calling you a thief instead of a treasure, tr treasure hunter. Oh, okay. Well, there you are. Good for you. But, uh, oh. Okay, well, we must be pretty far from Finn then, huh? Well, we got an inn over there to restore your HP and MP. There's a little bit of tricky mechanics with that that I'll go over eventually. Let's see, we've got an item shop for, like, potions, status curing items, things like that. And here we got Gordon. Oh, okay. You spoony guy. But, uh, let's see. Well, yeah, when you, uh... Yeah, when your kingdom goes down like that. What else can you do? Oh. Okay, never mind, then. But, uh... Oh, right. Oh, you abandoned it, huh? Well, kind of missed that part there at first. Let's go. Oh, well, yeah, I think he was saying something about that earlier. Let's see, in here we got your house of healing. I think, like, if someone dies, well, what happens? Oh, okay, I think the statue, like, revives you or something, but I never use it, so don't worry about it. You really shouldn't have a problem, usually. Let's see, over here we got your magic shop where you can buy tomes to teach spells to your party members. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he could, uh, help us out or something. Hmm, I wonder. Well, let's go check it out. Hey, how's it going? Batty, huh? Batman? No. No. Or am I? But, uh, yeah, so you use a password to get a little more dialogue out of him. Uh, apparently, that is just an ordinary well, so don't worry about it. But, yeah, so you got weapons over there, armor, shields, other defensive things over in that shop over there. But what preparations are we going to need to make to survive our trip to Finn? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!